Hello students, welcome back to the class. In this class, we are going to study about the reaction of halo arenes. Till the last part, we were studied about reaction of halo arenes, right? So the first one is the nucleophilic substitution reaction. Usually, the halo arenes are less reactive towards nucleophilic substitution reaction. Why? There are some reason. Total five reasons are there. Very important. Those reasons which may ask in the exam for two or three marks. The first reason is resonance effect. Resonance effect. Resonance effect we study, right? In halo arenes, the carbon halogen bond is there. That is, the halogen atom contains electron. Which will shifted to the carbon halogen bond and delocalized with the pi electrons of the benzene. Suppose example, for example, in chloro benzene, chloro benzene, chlorine atom contains electron, lone pair of electron, which will shift to this side, carbon chlorine bond. And this bond, pi electron is shifted here and form the resonance structure. Here negative charge and chlorine contains positive charge because lone pair of electron is shifted. And the next, this one shifted here and this pi electron shift here. Reaction. If bond length is less or 
short is there that means it is difficult to break the carbon halogen bond that's why in halo arrays the nucleophilic substitution reaction is less possible and the two reason we were studying right one is the resonance effect and one more is the difference in the hybridization of carbon cx bond and the third one is instability of phenyl cation in a sn1 reaction the carbo cation is formed right this is chlorobenzene so which undergo carbo cation c this carbo cation is highly unstable always the carbo cation which is formed in the sn1 reaction that is first step that is always the stable carbo cation tertiary carbo cation that is more stable right but in case of halo arrays uh, the carbo cation formed from the halo arrays which is highly unstable that is phenyl cation this is phenyl cation is highly unstable that is one of the reason which is the halo arrays which is less reactive towards the nucleophilic substitution reaction and the fourth reason is because of the possible repulsion it is less likely for the electron rich nucleophile to approach electron rich arrays the benzene ring which contains halogen atom halo arrays which is electron rich compound right so the rich electron compound the approaching of rich nucleophile to approach the electron rich compound arrays which is very difficult this is the fourth reason to the nucleophilic reaction of halo arrays is difficult compared to halo arrays the next reaction is a replacement by hydroxyl group replacement by replacement by hydroxyl group hydroxyl group see how arrays are reacts with NaOH it will heat it after that we will get the chlorine or halogen atom which is replaced by OH group or hydroxyl group let us take one example when chlorobenzene this is chlorobenzene benzene which is heated with NaOH at 623 Kelvin 300 atmospheric pressure phenol will get phenol the hydroxyl group which is present directly attached to the benzene benzene which is called phenol if suppose the electron withdrawing group is attached to this halo arrays at ortho and para position it will increases its reactivity of the reaction let us take some example
this heated with NaOH at 368 Kelvin will be will get the product this one. If suppose the NO2 group is present here also, or the both ortho position and para position. Now NaOH is not required. Just one and in the presence of water. It will give here NO2. The common name of this product is picric acid. Picric acid. When uh, the electron withdrawing group is more, is there more means is present at the ortho as well as para position, the reactivity of the reaction will increases or reactivity is more. In meta position, electron withdrawing group is there. Whether the reactivity is increases or decreases, there is no reactivity if it is if the electron withdrawing group is present meta position with respect to chlorine group the reactivity of the reaction doesn't change or not increases see why uh, the reactivity of haloaldehydes increases when the electron withdrawing group is present that one will understand by the mechanics. So first, I will take chlorobenzene Cl, which is attacked by hydroxide group. This is attacked, this carbon atom and this bond is shifted. So what is the structure we get? Here negative charge, here Cl, here OH, right? Then here also. See, here uh, the bond is shifted to here and which will the ortho position will get a negative charge and OH is attached or bond with carbon atom. This structure is having resonance structure. This will resonate throughout the benzene. That is like this. Cl, OH, this will shift here and this bond shift here and getting para position as negative charge and one more resonance structure that is like this this bond is shifted here and this bond shift here and negative charge Cl and OH this is the three resonance structure so resonance stabilization happen in the rim. So, what is the nature of this benzene ring? It is carbon anion formation takes place here. This carbon anion is more stable or highly stable. So, what happens? The overall structure of this one is Cl OH and negative charge in the middle because the negative charge is delocalized for entire the benzene, right? The overall structure is this. Then this is a slow step process. This is slow step. And if suppose the second step of the reaction, the negative charge is here, Cl and OH this is very fast step fast step and this will undergo shifted here and chlorine is departed 
Now the product is formed. Okay. This step is very fast, and this is the first step is very slow step. And the carbon ion formed formed here. It is very stable carbon carbon anion carbon anion. If suppose the nitro group is present present or electron withdrawing group is present at ortho position. Now the reactivity as uh, I have told the reactivity is increases. What is the reason for that? That we will see. See if the NO2 group is present here. So here also NO2 group. Here also NO2 group. Here also NO2 group. Right. In the product, we will get NO2 group. Right. See the negative charge is at the ortho position. This is electron withdrawing group. The electron withdrawing group, which will pull the benzene ring, pull the electron to electron withdrawing group, or electron withdrawing group will pull the electron from the benzene ring because here also electron electron which is there, center, and in the benzene ring also electron more is there. So the electron withdrawing group in matter way will pull the electron. Towards itself, and we get, and this is carbon ion is very stable carbon ion, right? That's the reason in our composition the reactivity is more. If suppose in para position also N one two group is there. See in the second structure, the negative charge is here, right? So the electron present in the benzene ring, which will pull by the electron withdrawing group. That's the reason the reactivity is more and more. Here also we we'll get NO2. This is the reason the reactivity of the halides will increase as when the electron withdrawing group is present at ortho and para position. Now, meta position. If suppose in meta position, the electron withdrawing group is there, not in ortho or para. In meta position, see. In meta position, you see any electron or negative charge in the meta position? No, right? So there is no electron or negative charge. In this car, by resonance structure, in while resonance writing resonance, negative charge is not there. So the electron which is not pulled by the electron withdrawing, electron is not there, electron not pull model is there not electron present. That's why there is no change in the reactivity of halo arrays when the electron withdrawing group is present at the Meta position. This is the reason for the reactivity increases when the electron withdrawing groups are present at ortho and para position. The reactivity is not changed when the electron withdrawing group is in meta position. Understand? The next reaction of halo arrays is electrophilic substitution. See in nucleophilic substitution reaction, uh, there is less reactive towards nucleophilic substitution reaction. You study. See in electrophilic substitution reaction takes place mainly at ortho and para position. Why? Due to the resonance, uh, the benzene ring with respect to halogen atom, uh, the ortho and para position are getting negative charge right so that electron density is more is there compared to meta position so the electrophile will attack ortho or para position in case of electrophilic substitution reaction 
Understand? The electron will attack this ortho or para position when the drastic condition. Because why? Because see, halogen atom is slightly it shows negative inductive effect, right? So it shows negative inductive effect, and it will pull the electron or it will withdraw the electron from the benzene ring. It will deactivate the benzene ring. That's the reason we are using some drastic condition while the reaction is proceeding. Let's see one by one some of the electrophilic substitution reaction. Majorly halogenation, nitration, sulfonation, tridyl carb alkylation. These are the examples for electrophilic substitution reaction. Let us see one by one. When chlorobenzene is treated with chlorobenzene is treated with chlorine in the presence of anhydrous anhydrous FeCl3 FeCl3 what is the product we will get that is two product we will get one is one comma two dichloro dichloro benzene and one more is one two one comma four dichloro benzene dichloro benzene is the product this is this reaction is called as halogenation halogenation the electrophile will attach the ortho and para position mixture of these two product will get one is ortho 1 comma 2 dichloro benzene one more is in para position 1 comma 4 dichloro benzene and the second reaction is nitration nitration when chloro benzene when chloro benzene is treated with concentrated H2SO4 concentrated sulfuric acid and concentrated HNO3 nitric acid what is the product we will get here also we are getting mixture of two products one is at the ortho position and one more is at para position one more is at para position one chloro two nitro benzene and this is 1, 2, 3, 4 1 chloro 4 nitro benzene first one is halogenation and the second one is nitration now let us study another three electrophilic substitution reaction see the reactivity is common here chloro benzene chloro benzene is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid chloro benzene is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid in the previous reaction we studied nitration that is a mixture of nitrate mixture concentrated sulfuric acid and concentrated nitric acid but here the chloro benzene is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid it is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid mixture of two product is formed one is at ortho position and one is at para position what is the name of this Compound it is 2 chloro benzene sulfonic acid. 2 chloro 2 chloro benzene sulfonic acid. Write the name and this is with respect to this one 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 chloro. 4 chloro benzene sulfonic acid. This is one with respect to this one 2 chloro benzene sulfonic acid and it is 4 chloro benzene sulfonic acid. 
What is the name of this reaction? This is sulfonation. 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 The fourth reaction is when chloropentene is treated with chloromethane. Chloromethane or methyl chloride. In the presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride, which is strong luminous acid, the mixture of two products is obtained. Here, the alkyl group is attached to ortho position with respect to chlorine, and one more CH3 group is attached to the para position with respect to chlorine. So, mixture of two products is formed when chlorobenzene is treated with chloromethane or methyl chloride in the presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride. What, are, what is the name of these two products? One is this one chloro. 1 chloro, 2 methyl benzene. Benzene. 1 chloro, 1, 2. 1 chloro, 2 methyl benzene. And name of this compound is 1, 2, 3, 4. See, 1 chloro, 4 methyl benzene. This is the major product. And this one is minor product. What is the name of this compound? 1 chloro 4 methyl benzene. This reaction is called as Fredel Kraft alkylation. Fredel Kraft alkylation. Alkylation means here the alkyl group is attached to the benzene ring. That's why it is alkylation. And the fifth last reaction is when chloro benzene is treated with acetyl chloride. This is acetyl chloride. CH3, C double bond O, Cl. Acetyl chloride, in the presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride, the mixture of two product is obtained. One is at ortho position and one more is at para position. Now, what is the name of this first one? It is 2 chloro, 2 chloro, aceto, this is aceto group, aceto phenol. Why it is phenol? It is keto group, right? Keto, keto group. C double bond O, CH3. Aceto phenol. 2 chloro aceto phenol. And one more is 4 chloro aceto phenol. Aceto phenol. What is the name of this reaction? It is Fredel Kraft acylation reaction. Fredel Kraft acylation. This is the acyl group. This C double bond O C L is acyl group. And in the presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride, the mixture of two product is obtained. One is at ortho position with respect to chlorine, and one more is para position with respect to chlorine. These are the five electrophilic substitution reactions of haloarates. The last topic of uh, this chapter that is the reaction with metals. Reaction of haloarates with metals. First one is the Woods Fittig reaction. It's one of the important named reaction in this chapter. So what is this reaction? See when aryl halide Aryl halide, general representation of aryl halide is treated with alkyl halide in the presence of sodium in dry ether. Sodium in dry ether. So, what is the product obtained here? That is alkyl aryl. Alkyl aryl. And N A X. So, what is Woods Fittig reaction? When aryl halide and alkyl halide is treated with sodium in dry ether, alkyl arene is obtained. Alkyl group and arene group. Alkyl arene and obtained. This reaction is known as Woods Fittig reaction. And one more name reaction is. Fittig reaction. Fittig 
reaction see two molecules of aldehyde two molecules of aldehyde is treated with sodium treated with sodium in dry ether sodium in dry ether what is the product obtained here that is di phenyl di phenyl di means two phenyl groups are there so the analogous compound is obtained that means two benzene rings are joined together when the two molecule of aldehyde is treated with sodium in dry ether diphenyl is obtained diphenyl is obtained this reaction is known as wurz fitting reaction this two reaction is very very important for one mark they may ask the reaction condition or they will give the example instead of x they will give alkyl groups uh, uh, sorry uh, halogen and here they will give the uh, with uh, instead of r ch3 like this they will give and you should remember uh, these two reaction don't confuse and don't by heart it by practice writing practice only it will come and understand the concept and understand the reactant which we are used in the fitting reaction and wurz fitting reaction if you are interchange the reactant you won't get the marks and this is the chapter of halo alkenes and halo arenes till now we were studied nomenclature of halo alkenes and halo arenes then nature of uh, ch bond then types of or uh, different types of halo alkenes and halo arenes physical properties and chemical properties in that substitution reaction bimolecular and unimolecular very very important questions and then we study chemical properties reaction nucleophilic substitution reaction then reactions of halo arenes in that elimination sorry in that uh, electrophilic substitution reaction and now reaction with metals read well study well prepare for the exams all the best thank you